and morning wherever you may be. We are the prophetic road coat of arms ministry, reformed Pentecostal Anglo-Saxon and royal empire of the kingdom of God denomination. Our Sunday worship service is 11 a.m. Our Thursday night Bible study is 7 p.m. I am His Imperial and Royal Highness Archduke of Pomerania and Livonia of the House of Hanzolan, the Right Reverend Robert L. Maxwell, Bishop of the Prophetic Road Coat of Arms Ministry, Field Marshal of Pomerania Livonia, Knight Templar Livonia. Knight of the Sacred and Military Order of Merits of Livonia. Today we'll be looking at Isaiah chapter 43. Let's open up with a word of prayer. Let's pray. Dear Yahweh, Altonine Elohim, we come before you and ask you to heal us mentally, physically, and spiritually. Anoint us and empower us with the Holy Spirit. Let this be a word that someone needs to hear. Let my preaching and teaching be acceptable to you. Ask in the Lord Jesus Christ's name, we pray and ask you the power of the Holy Ghost. Um, grant us wisdom and knowledge concerning the subject. Help us to understand it from your perspective. We ask in the Lord Jesus Christ's name, we pray and ask you the power of the Holy Ghost. Fill us up with the Holy Spirit. Move us into the apostolic and prophetic and let this message be in a message that someone needs to hear. Let this be a word that someone needs to hear. We ask in the Lord Jesus Christ's name through the power of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Isaiah 43 verses 1 through 28 the King James Say, of 43, colon 1 dash 28. But now the state, the Lord that created thee, O Jacob, and he that formed thee, O Israel, fear not, for I have redeemed thee. I have called thee by thy name, thou art mine. To when thou passest through the waters, I will be with thee, and through the rivers, they shall not overflow thee. When thou walkest through the fire, thou shalt not be burned, neither shall the flame kindle upon thee. Three, for I am the Lord thy God, the Holy One of Israel, thy Savior. I gave Egypt for thy ransom, Ethiopia, and Seba for thee. For since thou art precious in my sight, thou hast been honorable, and I have loved thee. Therefore will I give men for thee, and people for thy life. For I fear not, for I am with thee. I will bring thy seed from the east, and gather thee from the west. Since I will say to the north, give up, and to the south, keep not back. Bring my sons from far, and my daughters from the ends of the earth, seven even everyone. That is called by my name. For I have created him for my glory, I have formed him, yea, I have made him. He bring forth the blind people that have eyes, and the dead that have ears. Then let all the nations be gathered together, and let the people be assembled. Who among them can declare this, and show us all my things, that can bring forth their witnesses, that they may be justified. Or let them hear, and say, It is true. Then ye are my witnesses, saith the Lord, and my servant whom I have chosen, that ye may know and believe me and understand that I am he. Before me there was no God formed, neither shall there be after me, eleven I, even I, and the Lord. And beside me there is no Savior. Twelve I have declared, and have saved, and I have shewed, when there was no strange God among you. Therefore ye are my witnesses, saith the Lord, the time God. Thirteen I, before the day was I am he, and there is none that can deliver out of my hand, I will work, and who shall let it? Fourteen, the sake of the Lord, your Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. For your sake I have sent to Babylon, and have brought down all their nobles, 
and the Chaldeans, who is Christ in the ships. Fifty now in the Lord, your Holy One, the Creator of Israel, your King. Sixteen the sea, the Lord, which maketh the way in the sea, and the path in the mighty waters. Seventeen which bringeth forth the chariot and horse. They are made into the power, they shall lie down together, they shall not rise. They are extinct, they are quenched as dough. Eighteen, remember ye not the former things, neither consider the things of old. Nineteen, behold, I will do anything, now it shall spring forth. Shall ye not know it? I will even make a way in the wilderness, and rivers in the desert. Twenty, the beast of the field shall honor me, the dragons and the owls. Because I give water in the wilderness, and rivers in the desert, to give drink to my people, my chosen. Twenty-one, this people have I formed for myself, they shall shew forth my praise. Twenty-two, but thou hast not called upon me, O Jacob, but thou hast been weary of me, O Israel. Twenty-three, thou hast not brought me the small cattle of thy burnt offerings, neither hast thou honored me with thy sacrifices. I have not caused thee to serve with an offering, nor weary thee with incense. Twenty-four, thou hast brought me no sweet cane with money, neither hast thou filled me with the fat of thy sacrifices. But thou hast made me to serve with thy sins, thou hast to lead me with thine iniquities. Twenty-five, I, even I, am he that blotted out thy transgressions for mine own sake, and will not remember thy sins. Twenty-six, put me in remembrance. Let us see together, declare thou, that thou mayest be justified. Twenty-seven, thy first father hath sinned, and thy teachers have transgressed against me. Twenty-eight, therefore I have profaned the princes of the sanctuary, and have given Jacob to the curse, and Israel to reproaches. Isaiah 14.3 Isaiah 14.3 The New Living Translation Isaiah 43.1-28 But now, O Israel, the Lord, who created you, says, Do not be afraid, for I have ransomed you. I have called you by name, you are mine. To when you go through deep waters and great trouble, I will be with you. When you go through rivers of difficulty, you will not drown. When you walk through the fire of oppression, you will not be burned up, the flames will not consume you. 3. For I am the Lord, your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. I gave Egypt, Ethiopia, and Seba as a ransom for your freedom. For others died that you might live. I traded their lives for yours, because you are precious to me, you are honored, and I love you. 5. Do not be afraid, for I am with you. I will gather you and your children from east and west 6, and from north and south. <coughs> I will bring my sons and daughters back to Israel, from the distant corners of the earth. 7. All who claim me as their God will come, for I have made them for my glory. It was I who created them. 8. Bring out the people who have eyes, but are blind, who have ears, but are deaf. Nine gather the nations together. Which of their idols has ever foretold such things? Can any of them predict something even a single day in advance? Where are the witnesses of such predictions? Who can verify that they spoke the truth? Ten, but you are my witnesses, O Israel, says the Lord. And you are my servant. You have been chosen to know me, believe in me, and understand that I alone am God. There is no other God, there never has been, and never will be. Eleven, I am the Lord, and there is no other Savior. Twelve, first I predicted your deliverance, I declared what I would do, and then I did it, I saved you. No foreign God had ever done this before. You are witnesses that I am the only God, says the Lord. Thirteen, from eternity to eternity I am God. No one can oppose what I do. No one can reverse my actions. 14. The Lord your Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel, says, For your sakes I will send an invading army against Babylon. And the Babylonians will be forced to flee in those ships they are so proud of. 15. I am the Lord, your Holy One, Israel's Creator and King. 16. I am the Lord, who opened a way through the waters, making a dry path through the sea. 17. I called forth the mighty army of Egypt, with all its chariots and horses. I drew them beneath the waves, and they drowned, their lives snuffed out like a smoldering candle wick. 18. But forget all that it is nothing compared to what I am going to do. 19. For I am about to do a brand new thing. See, I have already begun. Do you not see it? 
I will make a pathway through the wilderness for my people to come home. I will create rivers for them in the desert. Twenty the wild animals in the fields will thank me, the jackals and ostriches, too, for giving them water in the wilderness. Yes, I will make springs in the desert, so that my chosen people can be refreshed. Twenty-one I have made Israel, for myself, and they will someday honor me before the whole world. Twenty-two, but, my dear people, you refuse to ask for my help. You have grown tired of me. Twenty-three, you have not brought me lambs for burnt offerings. You have not honored me with sacrifices, though I have not burdened, and we read you with my requests for grain offerings and incense. Twenty-four, you have not brought me fragrant incense, or pleased me with the fat from sacrifices. Instead, you have burdened me with your sins, and wearied me with your faults. Twenty-five, I yes, I alone am the one, who blots out your sins for my own sake, and will never think of them again. Twenty-six, let us review the situation together, and you can present your case, if you have one. Twenty-seven, from the very beginning, your ancestors sinned against me, all your leaders broke my laws. 28. That is why I have disgraced your priests, and assigned Israel a future of complete destruction and shame. Isaiah 43 is God's care. Of all of Israel, which includes the house of Judah and the house of Israel. God had formed the nation for himself. The nation had been unceasingly disobedient. Still, they were God's nation, and through all, and through all their sins and sufferings, God would work to demonstrate to all the world that He and He alone is God. Isaiah 43, verse 1. This is out of the authorized King James, and it reads, But now thus saith the Lord that created thee, O Jacob, and he that formed thee, O Israel, fear not, for I have redeemed thee, I have called thee by thy name, and thou art mine. So, anyways, we're going to use the English Standard Version today, but I wanted to read out of it, and we might uh, go back to the King James as well in this study today. But nonetheless, the word Jacob refers to the house of Israel and the house of Judah's natural line. Israel refers Israel refers to uh, the house of Israel and the house of Judah's spiritual line. So, to give you a synopsis of Isaiah, 
23, verses 26 through 28. This is out of the contemporary English, and it says, Meet me in court, explanation point, state your case, and prove that you are right. Well, of course, you're without excuse. Your earliest ancestors and all your leaders rebelled against me. That's why I don't allow your priest to serve me. Uh, verse 26, that's why I don't allow your priest to serve me. I let Israel be destroyed and your people disgraced. So, God had to punish Judah's uh, the Jews leaders God had to punish the leaders of the southern kingdom of Judah for their sinfulness their wickedness their evilness their idolatry and apostasy and spiritual idolatry apostasy and so forth, referring to God's very elect of the house of Judah, which includes the kings, includes the priest, the high priest, and the patriarchs of the past for their wickedness. And the southern kingdom of Judah had to be put down and brought into Babylonian captivity for 70 years. So that's what uh, Isaiah is communicating to the house of Judah and their during their Babylonian captivity, but God makes a promise of them being liberated and that they will be re uh, returned back to the house of, or that they'd be returned back to the Holy Land, rebuilt the temple, and would be there until the destruction from the temple in 70 AD, and they would be put down and the leaders would be put down because of their continual apostasy. But God makes some promise to them that they would return back to the Holy Land and rebuild the temple. And then they'd be there until the destruction of the temple. And in Jerusalem in 70 AD, when God would have punished
Constitution of the Covenant Grace had to be ended. Judgment came, destruction of the Temple of Judah and Jerusalem became a mess, and Judah was scattered throughout the world. Canada. 
Canada, America, Alaska, and settled there who were later called Caucasians. And they also mixed with Judah. But this scattering took place many, many, many years, a slow, gradual process of them being scattered. But at the same time, like he promised the house of Israel, or he promised the house of Judah, he promised the house of Israel that he would liberate them a new exodus and regather the house of Israel back to himself through the second dispensation of the covenant of grace which Jesus is the author and dispenser of he would gather them back to the covenant of grace that God made with them and this regathering as well as the scattering the regathering would uh, take place obviously slowly and gradually back to him the covenant of grace that God made with them because they would they would be scattered throughout the world they would be scattered throughout the world and then God would regather them back to them through God's unfolding plan of redemption, which Jesus Christ is the author and dispenser, and through the outpouring of the Holy Ghost that would play the, which would be the catalyst of, or would be the catalyst that would convict them of their sins and they'd repent of their sins and return back to God and Judah play a uh, role the Jews play a role as a witness to the Gentiles of God's unfolding plan of redemption who are the Gentiles well during the Old Testament the Gentiles were descendants of the six day creation the non-white peoples of the world uh, Agar Esau in the New Testament the Jews would be a witness to the Gentiles which this would include the house of Israel descendants of the six day creation non-white peoples of the world uh, Esau, Hagar said Israel, God's elect, of uh, God's elect, and very elect, of the house of Israel, the 
created the whole world about God's unfolding plan a redemption and he would gather not only the house of Israel the house of Judah to himself but the Gentiles as well because it includes them as well and the the gathering will be achieved through the catalyst of the Holy Spirit the systematic uh, the catalyst would be the Holy Spirit, the indwelling and filling of the Holy Spirit would be the catalyst.
but they'll still confess him as Lord and Savior and all of Israel will be saved which means God's elect will confess all of God's elect will be saved for all eternity so anyways
age in heaven age, and it refers to the third world age in heaven age, the world that was, the world that is, and the world that is to come. All souls belong to God, as the scripture says. But the problem is, of course, the unfaithful remnant will not acknowledge him as being the one that created him.
and Yahweh will see or provide. Yahweh that healeth thee. Yahweh my banner. Yahweh that does sanctify you. Yahweh sends peace. Yahweh of hosts. Yahweh our righteousness. Yahweh is there. Yahweh most high. Yahweh my shepherd. We have seen of these experimentally referred to in Psalm 23 in as much as Yahweh is a good, the great chief shepherd engaged in all the perfections of his attributes on behalf of his sheep. Obviously, um, the waters, the 
rivers of fire, the flame, water, which equals waters, rivers, fire, flames, a general promise of future deliverance put by figuratively a metonymity of subject for troubles of any and all kinds. This promise refers to Israel's future. God's elect and very elect. <clears throat> Kindle upon the means pass over the what is a magnanimity of subject magnanimity or change of noun when one name or noun is used instead of another to which it stands in a certain relation one of the case when the case is put forth put forth the effects two of the effects when the effects is put for the cause of producing that enemy of subject when the subject is put for something pertaining to it for the enemy of the adjunct when something pertaining to the subject is put for the subject itself Yes. 
some people make it as a jaybird. So that I've written to you for us. And the same thing applies to us. Is a purifying of fire. The trials and tribulations we go through is purifying us, is sanctifying us, making us more and more like Christ. And God's elect and very elect will withstand the test. Will abjure, uh, will preserve till the end and be rewarded and blessed for the good we do for God and one another our duties to God and one another personally corporate and even uh, a role in his overall plan fulfilling the great commission you won't lose your salvation because your salvation is permanent. The Lord's trees are ever green. The devil cannot snatch you out of his hands. He will attack you, tempt you, and you will mess up. You will sin. But you will endure to the end. All these troubles and so forth are playing a role to purify us, to make us more and more like Christ Jesus. We've been sanctified. God's elect has been sanctified. They're being sanctified presently and will one day be glorified. What does sanctification mean? Made holy. What does holiness mean? Set apart for God's purpose and plan. And yes, my friend, you'll go through lots of trials and tribulations. Excuse my poor French. Life will be hell. And God will make you tough as nails. Making you tough as nails. Satan will attack you. You'll sin. You'll mess up. You'll screw up. The devil will attack you. So everything he has at you can't possess you, but can so speak shit on your sit on your shoulder and tempt you to do something you shouldn't do and you will do it. And no matter where you're at in your faith God will still use you as a witness to people 
and you'll struggle some of God's elect and very elect have drug addictions alcoholic alcoholics broke the law backslide sometimes
And don't get me wrong, God still uses, does supernatural miracles and can heal you like that. Boom, boom, the snap of a finger. Um, but it's been my experience, he prefers to change you and heal you the hard way, the hard, rough road, my friends. The rough, hard way. Not the easy way, but the rough way. The hard way, the tough way. Will help develop a Christian theistic worldview in your life. Isaiah 43 verses 1 through 7 is in, uh, is encouragement, introversion, and alteration. It, uh, God for Judah, God's elect of Judah and God's elect, very elect of Judah to them for us. God's elect created and called. God's elect is not to, uh, is to fear not preservation is uh, God's Savior for Judah, God's Savior for His elect ransom. Judah's lover, Judah's lover, uh, God's elect of Judah's lover. Lover of God's elect ransom. Fear not restoration. Israel called and created. God's elect and very elect of Judah. And for us. to 
redeemed, begotten of his father before all worlds born of his mother in the world in this creature form he appears to be the penitent penitent a form that temp temporarily assume Elohim is indicated by ordinary small types of God Anyways, he was Israel's God by covenant. He is God's He is God to us by covenant. The Holy One of Israel in contrast with all false gods. Thy Savior is a third title of his name. Egypt, Ethiopia, and Seba equals Seba equals Egypt. Cush and Ethiopia. These were given to Persia as ransom money as it were for the release of Israel by Persia through the successor of Cyprus and Herod in the times of Isaiah the uh, Isaiah three were united under one dynasty Ransom means atonement price. And I guess you can look at this as a type of Christ. The man, Jesus Christ. He's 100%. He's fully God and fully man. So there's a type of Christ. God gave Christ as a sacrifice for his elect the very elect as a ransom. life for us 